Hi, my name is Aditya Loda. I'm Ari Agarwal. Hi, my name is Pramit Shah, and our friend Abhinav Goyal also contributed to this project. We came across the uh, New York State Archive Awards um, because of our work in National History. Um, when you compete in National History, you have to do extensive work using archives, resources, all sorts of different types of sources. And we stumbled across the New York State Archives um, in this manner. We, we really wanted to like, keep our documentary going, and this was the perfect way. You know, and actually the story of our topic is more of a people's story. I was at dinner with a family friend whose uh, mother and father were both Holocaust survivors. And they were telling me, you know, we had, there was this horrible tragedy, the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. You know, and everything is coming over, these boxes of documents. He's showing me, he has all these boxes of documents. And you know, this is as we're just starting out with our topic, you know, we're just trying to get a grasp on it, etc. This is where we really narrowed in on the Warsaw Ghetto specifically, because he's showing me these boxes of documents, these human stories of just how many people's lives are destroyed, who it touched, and what its, global, what its greater global impact was. You know, and that was really the reason we were moved to take this topic as our project. As a group, I, could, I feel that our favorite topic was when we were able to get an interview with Professor Michael Simonson. Uh, he helped us instrumentally, with, whether it was finding other people or finding uh, sources and archives that would help us with our project. The Warsaw Ghetto was the first uprising that led, that showed the Jewish people that they could revolt against the, the powerful German army, and that this was a leading example of how the other Jewish ghettos could help revolt. On top of that, um, the thing I found most interesting and most and most heart touching was how even though there were, you know, five hundred uh, Jewish people and thousands and thousands of Nazi soldiers, they were still able to hold them off for six months. The, cu the courage, the valor of these people really inspired us to pick our topic name, Courage Knows No Number, which is what these Jewish people truly embodied. One piece of advice I'd have for anybody who's interested in historical research of any kind is you gotta use the archives, you gotta keep yourself organized and you gotta be methodical with your research because that's how you know what you're doing and that's when you really come together. I strongly recommend that you pick a topic that you're passionate about um, and you really care about it because if you really care about it, you will go the extra mile. And lastly, uh, us being a group of four, I really feel like everyone should be willing to compromise. Whether it's you want something but someone else wants something, you guys should find a uh, middle where you guys could both agree on something. The summer of 1942 would find over 300,000 Jews deported from the Warsaw Ghetto. Thousands were murdered. The German authorities only granted 35,000 Jews permission to remain there temporarily, while more than 20,000 Jews hid within the debris and devastation. For the Jews remaining in the Warsaw Ghetto, deportation to living hell was inevitable. In response to the actions taken by the Nazis in Warsaw, several Jewish underground organizations created an armed self-defense unit known as the Jewish Combat Organization. Armed with very little, they would represent a beacon of hope through their struggle. The Warsaw Ghetto Uprising was symbolically the largest and most important Jewish uprising and the first urban uprising in German-occupied Europe. The resistance in Warsaw inspired other uprisings in ghettos like Bielostok and Minsk, as well as killing centers in Treblinka and Sobibor. This would show the determination of the Jews willing to resist oppression and death under the worst odds imaginable.